Hello, hello. I'm Rachel. I'm the customer service success person over at Vive Moss Tours. Um, and I am Jenny Desmond's daughter because Vive Moss Tours is a family business, right? Um, so today we're going to walk through how to do the check MIG form for Columbia. You have to fill this form out, I think 48 to maybe 72 hours before your flight lands in Columbia. And if you're traveling on one of our tours, we'll send you uh, an email in that time slot with the link and instructions to fill it out. But we also wanted to include this video in case you want to walk through it step by step with us. Um, I know this form can be kind of tricky. And I think it's a little harder than it needs to be, honestly. And it's kind of glitchy. So we created this video to help you guys. But if at any point in time you're struggling or it doesn't make sense or you know, you've tried and you're getting really frustrated, feel free to just call us, right? My personal phone number is in my signature line of all my emails, as well as our work phone number, which rings directly to my phone and to Jenny's phone. Um, so yeah, feel free to give us a call. That's what we're here for is to help you guys have a smooth trip. And I don't want you to be stressed out over filling out a customs form. We also occasionally offer drop-in hours to figure out how to do the check MIG form. Um, so just feel free to email us to see if we're doing that before one of your upcoming trips. Um, so let's get started. So this is the check MIG website. If you can't find it or you're not traveling with us and you don't have it in your email, you can just type in check MIG Columbia and it'll come up. Just make sure it ends in .gov.co. The co is for, I think, Columbia. First thing, make sure it's in English. This form sometimes auto-populates in Spanish, which you don't, and you don't have to do it in Spanish if you don't want to. Um, I don't want to. <laughs> so do the check MIG. Type of journey, you are traveling to Colombia on your arrival, right? No travel by air, and it is a commercial flight. This should auto-populate like this. And on a Vive Moss tour, most of the time, we start in Bogota. So select that airport. Your travel date, again, has to be within this three-day window. The flight that I have pulled up leaves today. And the flight number is 292. Okay, so I'm getting this error because this system automatically like checks your flight data with its arriving flight data, and so it will auto-populate things. So I accidentally en entered the flight number for the flight from Denver to George Bush Airport, and I should have entered flight 207. Let's try that again. So 207, enter. So then it should autofill. This is one of the areas where I, I find bugs sometimes. Is it not autofilling? So this from which city the flight comes should autofill based on your flight number. The airline should autofill the city. Yeah. Um, and then for your origin destination country, it's it is confusing because like we're going to Colombia, but this is the Colombian migration form. So like they know that we're coming to Colombia. So we want to give them the info that they don't know, which is that we're coming from the United States. Um, and then when it'll autofill to like US, US, which you can keep, but I typically change to Denver, either Denver, Colorado or Denver, US, because I will come from Denver whenever I go to Colombia. Okay, so far so good. If you're running into issues with this not auto-populating, um, you can always just try again in like 30 minutes or try on a different device. Sometimes if I'm having trouble getting it to auto-populate on my computer, I will try to do it on my phone and I'll have better luck that way or vice versa. Okay, I am American. I'll be using my passport. I'm just going to type in random numbers here. This is not my actual passport number. Okay, so first last name 
is actually your last name. Um, if you have a hyphenated last name or two last names, you put it there. First name is Rachel. My computer's really eager to eager to autofill. Put in, I'm gonna put in just a fake birth date. Um, but you should put in your real one. <laughs> and then your email. So this is my work email. Um, and I check this all the time. So if you're having issues and you need help, you can feel free to email me. So purpose of your visit to Columbia, we with Vive Moss travel under vacation purposes and we're not a robot. Ooh, sometimes this capture gets me. Okay, so this part is usually pretty smooth. It's Honestly, the type of journey and travel information that frequently trips people up because of that need to get things to autofill. And then you're gonna enter your hosting data. Um, we, oh look. We stay in Bogota. So here it says city and then lodging city. Um, I'm just gonna put our address for the Hotel BH Bicentenario in here. And this is their phone number. Um, this is like a plus, this five seven is because it's a Colombian number. So it's plus five seven, but they don't need that because it's their Colombian officials. So they don't need to type in the country code for Colombia. And then for the questions, um, I would be really surprised if any of our travelers are carrying more than 10,000 US dollars in. And then you wanna accept the terms and conditions, which I will not do because I did not fill in accurate information on this form. And then it's going to send you a copy to that email that you put in and like confirmed of your it's like a certification that you filled out the check mig and then it's done um just screenshot that and have it available when you go through customs in bogota so you can show that to them but oftentimes they won't ask to see it they'll just like pull up your name and this will autofill in their system so that is how you do the check mig form for colombia again if you have any questions feel free to give me a call or shoot me an email and then we also often do drop-in hours to fill in the check mig together. So if you're interested in that, again, just shoot me an email. If you're not traveling on one of our trips and you're struggling with this, you can also email me at rachel at Um, If you want me to sit down and do the form with you, we can do that for $30. But I hope that you don't need to and that this video explains it. And you guys have great trips to Colombia. So... Thanks so much and safe travels.